Hello, my name's Dr. Bede Shah, and I'm one of the directors of MedLight and Medical Education. In this video, we're going to talk about how to share your management effectively and how to empower your patient to make a decision that's right for them. So if we have a situation where we have two or more treatments that can be used to do the same thing, it's not sufficient to say to a patient, would you like option A or option B? We need to give the pros and cons of option A and the pros and cons of option B to empower the patient to make a decision that's right for them. So let's talk through an example that will help you put yourself in the patient's shoes and then we'll talk about a medical example. So imagine you go to the hairdresser because you would like your hair chemically straightened and your hairdresser says to you, so do you want the Brazilian treatment or do you want the keratin smoothing treatment? Now, if you don't know a lot about hair, you might not know which one to go for. But if she says to you, would you like the Brazilian treatment? It is more likely to give you very straight hair, but it's a little bit more damaging to your hair than the keratin treatment. Or would you like the keratin smoothing treatment? It will still straighten your hair, but not as much as the Brazilian one, but it's less damaging. Which one would you prefer? You've now got enough information to make the decision that's right for you. So if your priority is perfectly straight hair, you might go for Brazilian. If your priority is that you don't want damaged hair, you might go for the keratin smoothing treatment. So let's take that and apply it to a medical example. Imagine you have a lady and she's 51, uh, she's called Mrs Smith and she wants HRT, she definitely doesn't want the myrene as the progesterone component and you're helping her decide between tablets or patches. By saying, do you want tablets or patches, you're not sharing the management because you're not sharing enough information with her to help her make a decision. Whereas if you say something along the lines of, Mrs Smith, for HRT, we've got two options. Now we've got tablets and we've got patches. All HRT does carry a slight risk of blood clots affecting your legs or your lungs, but tablets, uh, patches have a lower risk of blood clots than tablets. However, women do tend to find tablets more effective at controlling menopausal symptoms. So would you prefer to start with patches and see if they're sufficient to control your symptoms? Or given that the treat symptoms are making life really difficult, did you want me to prescribe you the patches today? The patient now has enough information to decide, does she want to play it safe and go for the patches? Or does she just want a comfortable life and does she want to take a risk and go for the tablets first? So you've empowered the patient with enough information to make the decision that's right for her. So that is sharing management and that should help maximise your interpersonal skills marks.